Rapping mimosa, these bars in the holster. Pouring up a drink, put my name on the poster. Women who can rap make you come a little closer. Step out the whip, drop a tip to my chauffeur. New guest on my list, champagne's by my hips. It's time to get lit. Y'all know what it is. It's time to rap, 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 rap and mimosas. Wake up, Johnny, say cheese. <laughs> Come on in the room, uh, send it to your crew. Yeah, it's rap and mimosas, and we back back at it. Yeah, it's rap and mimosas, and we back back at it. And we sipping champagne, and we at the urban gradually. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah, you know this who I gotta be. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> hey. All right, welcome to season three, everybody. Season three of Rap and Mimosas. Today is going to be all about BDSM. And we're going to learn, if you don't know what BDSM, we're going to learn all about what that actually is, okay, in just a few minutes. Woo! And welcome back to season three of Rap and Mimosas. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and please share this with as many people as you can. Um, whether you think they enter the kink lifestyle or not, today we are talking about what is BDSM, what is the kink lifestyle, and I have someone here who is willing to be open about it because we know a lot of times people in the lifestyle are a lot more secretive. Give it up for Johnny Mo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for allowing me to be on this live with you. Thank, Thank you. you for agreeing. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. for, for uh, people who don't know first, what is BDSM? Um, BDSM is, is really um, is known for beautiful bondage. Bondage, okay. So that's like tying people up and stuff. Yes, with consent. With consent, that's important. Yes, okay. With consent. Okay. Um, D is for dominant. Okay, so someone that's in control. Yes, that allows them to control someone with consent. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna hear consent a lot. Mm -hmm. You hear the word consent a lot of times. Uh, S stands for sadist. Oh, those are people who like to do pain, right? No, that is uh, sadist means that it's the person that likes to give pain. Okay, they like to, to give the pain to yeah, a person. To the person that um that consent. Now the M stands for masochist, which is the persons like to receive the pain with consent from the sadist person. Okay, so we have bondage, BDSM, bondage, getting tied up. What's the S? B on one side, the D is for dominant, so that S whole is aspect. For sad sadist. S is for sadist. Those people like to inflict pain, yes. and M is for masochist. Those are the people who like to receive pain. Yes. Okay, so we saw now. With consent. With consent. With consent. That's yes. very. That's very important. Now, before we dive deeper, I know that normally a lot of people don't like to come forward mm -hmm. and talk about this uh, life or this lifestyle publicly. You know what? What made you feel like? Yeah, we can do this. Um, to be honest, actually, uh, it started off with a fantasy. Okay. It started off with a, uh, with a fantasy of mine that, uh, my fantasy, uh, I would like to get tied up and also I'd like to get spank. Okay. All right, Johnny. Starting off strong. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, it's> <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <laughs> you like to get tied up. You like to get spanked. Yes. Right. Um, now... How did you get into the lifestyle? Um, to get into it, you have to read. You have to read like books first to get an understanding about the lifestyle. You have to get an understanding of what is it about, what is it like, and how to do certain things mm. of what you would like to do. And you don't. He's brought some things for us. <laughs> to look at a little bit later, y'all. He got some surprises on the table. Okay, <laughs> I just want to make sure y'all know that he he brought some friends with him. Okay, so you did your research, yes, right? That's step one. Yes. What's step two? 
Uh, step two is uh, you really uh, you really want to look for someone that's uh, also part of the lifestyle as well, and um, you want to learn about it so you become submissive. So you too. so so you start off as a submissive. You can't yes, start so, off as a dominant. No, I have started as submissive because I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn about the lifestyle. The only way to be out to me, the only way to be dominant, you have to learn how to be submissive. Oh, you know that makes sense. And for people who don't understand, the submissive is a what? Uh, it's the submissive is basically someone likes to do things for the dominant that. Re- that that is requested with consent. So the pleasure is the oh sorry, the pleasure is is to do some uh to do things for the person that brings pleasure for you and for the, for your dominant. Mm, okay, mm-hmm. so I want you to okay. So walk us up to your version of the story up until this point before we do that one i want to acknowledge our sponsors girl back for season three with some sponsors (laughs) y'all okay first of all i want to shout out the sponsor for the space i'm in currently which is the urban the urban is located in the beautiful historic overtown they have events all the time all right you all can check them out if you're in south florida all right they have vibe after five every friday nice parties on saturday i know he has money back yo coming this weekend and normally a good brunch on a good old sunday all right so i want to shout out the urban for the space y'all see i got my banner in the back (laughs) oh we upgrading for season three okay and i want to shout out big boy food club for sponsoring today's champagne Okay, today we drinking some uh, wet, y'all. <laughs> the girl is gotta real pop, fancy. Gotta pop it. You gotta, gotta pop, pop it, the bottles. Pop it. Okay, so brief interlude. All right, so tell us, walk us up into that point. So you started studying. Tell me, tell us the story. How did you find your person, and what was that experience like? Well, you on a Craigslist. Um, uh, uh, I had joined this uh, club called clubhouse and um i had joined it last year okay clubhouse yeah familiar I with it, it. I, had, I had joined it last year and um there were other people that that like to do kink stuff so and, you uh, searched for it yes i did okay so i met a young woman that allowed me to become submissive to her so she was my dominant Okay, and she was your dominant. Yes. And you don't hear about the reverse that often pu- publicly. A lot of times, like, you know, when you see, like, Fifty Shades of Grey mm-hmm. and things like that, mm-hmm. the dominant is normally looked at it to be the man and right. the submissive, exactly. like like in the movie, is the woman. But in your case, the woman was the dominant and you were the submissive. Yes. Was that difficult for you? Um, At first, no, actually, it wasn't difficult at first. But it's it has started getting to a little deeper. <laughs> um, yeah, so it has started getting a little deeper, and um, I was very shocked of the things I have saw that the things that she had introduced me to. Oh, oh, Jesus! So <laughs> y'all want to know? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just not just oh what I do that that aroused me mm-hmm. when it comes to. You know sessions or having a playmate um there's also i've learned a lot of things okay so it it gets a little darker it gets darker okay so i also want to make sure (laughs) the crowd is saying the crowd wants to know thank you it's them friends on the table (laughs) listen the friends are on the table we're definitely going to introduce them in a few all right and we're definitely about to get a little bit deeper okay into this role as a submissive if you all have any questions feel free to drop them in the chat that's why i love doing it live because i love live interaction all right so let's dive a little bit deeper okay into the to your life as a submissive all right what like what are some of the and you could tell us what you feel comfortable telling us right what are some of the things that as a submissive you would do or that she would request was it is that like a normal thing or does it vary from dominant to dominant um she requested uh she uh requested me to do um she allowed me to spank her okay so 
when she allowed me to do that, I, I felt confused because I thought... You were the one getting right, spanked, yes. Right, but she did spank me at one point because okay. I was being bad. I was, you know, I was uh, being a brat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so um, but when she had allowed me to switch roles, which is called being a switch... Okay. Where you could be dominant and submissive. Okay. It's, it's called switch, where she allowed me to be dominant at one point. Okay. So, when she allowed me to be a dominant at one point, she had taught me to how to, like, how to spank her, how to flog her. What's, and, what's flogging? Flogging, uh, flogging is like it's a uh, it's it's a spanking material, mm-hmm. but it has like uh, little pieces of leather, and it's like a little piece of leather, and you just you can hear like a sound. So it's a it's a paddle it's like a with small, it's like a small like a small whip. Okay, it's a small whip. So yeah. you flog. Okay, spanked. All right, and. I guess what would be something that you felt like got too dark? Um, where it got too dark, where uh, we started role playing. Okay. Um, she acts a little. A little is a person that likes child like things. As uh-huh. an adult, and she uh, wanted me to be a do- uh, She wanted me to be a daddy dog. I'm, okay, you got to break this down. So a little, all right, um, is someone who... So, like, it would be someone requesting me to act like a toddler. No, not necessarily. It's, basic, it's basically... Um, you, it's basically you, you like childlike things as an adult. What are childlike things? Like, like video you, games? Like you buy teddy bears for your room. Okay. You like to put bowls like in bears. your hair. Yeah, like you put bows in your hair, um, you dress, you know, a certain way, a certain, you know, a certain attire, like you know, colorful clothes, or, you know, um, I would say like, uh, you, you dress like, you know, uh, like a kid. And she wanted you to do that. No, she. Uh, what in my role when the roles were reversed? Yeah, the roles were turned. I was being a daddy dom. And what's that? Daddy dom is basically I act like a father. So you tell her like, no, you can't do that. You tell yes. her what to do pretty mm-hmm. much. I tell her uh, what to wear, what not to wear. I tell her what to eat, what not to eat. Basically, I'm taking care of her. Okay. So then I guess I, I would say this. So the BDSM lifestyle is really like some people. It's like their all day, every day thing. Yes, it's yes, not yes. just the we gonna do this at night kind of thing. Exactly. Some people it's, it's like actually, a, so some people actually take it real seriously, where it's not just private mm-hmm. but it's public. Wow. So you were like, so it wasn't just in the bedroom. You was telling her what to wear, when to go, like. Well, she was already wearing. T- she was already wearing what to wear it was just more of what you cannot do what you can and cannot do uh, and what can you eat and what not to eat and did you have to explain to her why she could do that or why she Uh, couldn't do that yeah it it was one point we had went to a we went to a grocery store and she had ice cream and David cakes Mm -hmm. and she wanted both. I said, no, you cannot have both. You have to pick which one. So when we, when we went to the, the register, she allowed me to get both. And I saw it, and I got really angry. And I was like, why would you let me? Why would you do that? And she was like, because I wanted both. I said, didn't I tell you? So what yeah. happens when she break? When when she broke that, she got us making and then you do it on the spot. Y'all wait till I get to the house. No, we got we got to the house. No, I, I'm not gonna do it in the pub, but we got to the house. Hmm. 
someone just came in they said went to a bdsm house one time um this lady had her entire house decked out with all sorts of trinkets and doohickeys that look like a saw movie so that call it they call it a dungeon okay so he went to a dungeon Okay, how do you get invited to this stuff? What do you mean getting invited? Like how did like he went to a dungeon party? I'm tempted to ask him how did, unchanged souls. How did you even get invited? Right, but what yeah, you get invited, get invited. That that's now that's when it gets real deep. When uh, what comes to B, uh, BDSM, you uh, it's not just a lifestyle. It's um, you have people actually uh, build membership, build societies, and it gets deeper where you get invitations where you, you, you were to a point where it's like you absolutely 100% into the life. So it's like a regular everyday thing. Yes. What's like the craziest, I guess, BDSM toy that exists? Well, to my, to my knowledge, uh, I've seen a uh, Excuse my French, but I've seen a a, a lock penis. A lock penis. What does on that mean? Amazon? What's a lock penis? Lock penis means that uh, when someone when when someone when your dominant lock your penis and you can't you can't get an erection. How do they wait? How does that toy work? What do you do? You get, you, it's a, it's a lock. <laughs> it's a lock with a key, and it's. You put you put your penis put a penis inside. You lock it with a key and you can't get an erection. You can go to the bathroom, but you can't get an erection until your dominant says so. You know it's crazy, ladies. If your man out here cheating, <laughs> just go on Amazon, <laughs> get a lock penis. I'm you, that, that's just go to Amazon. It's right there. Now here's the other kicker, right? As people of color. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of times when we've seen BDSM reflected in movies or TV shows or anything, it's not us that I've seen, at least from my instinct, that's in the lifestyle, Mm -hmm. right? So from your experience, is it a lot more of people of color out there in this lifestyle than we know or that we think? Uh, To be honest, in my my opinion, no. Okay. So it's still... It's still more secretive of people of color, still more secretive because... You know we, you know I, you know feel like it's between us in the community where um, outside outside the community is very open. Outside the community is very open. Yes. But do you feel like it's more people of color in the community, or it's more people who are maybe is it like a white dominated? It's uh, well, like I said, it's basically mostly white. If you hear. BDSM slash kink is more towards white. Okay. Now you hear people of color doing it is very rare. Very rare. Okay, so you met this woman. You are living your best BDSM lives mm-hmm. together. Are you still involved with her? No, I have broke up with the. Uh, I have broke up with her. Uh, it's called. A dynamic relationship. It's not a real relationship, like boyfriend girlfriend. Okay. It's it's a dynamic relationship, where it's between the sub, uh, submissive and the dominant. Okay. And you all called it off. So what happens now? Like, is it hard to meet other people in in this, in this, um, in this lifestyle? Like, is yeah, this something you feel like you it, have to do? In my experience, it's hard because. Uh, we live in a society where uh, things are quote unquote normal mm-hmm. and once you learn the lifestyle, live the lifestyle and now you're going back to so called normal world, mm-hmm. it's difficult because you're going to get it's like you're going to get looked at okay. so to say, you're going to get judged that you're going to get looked at Think people think that you are a very freaky person. Mm-hmm. You know, you like doing dark stuff. So it's it's a lot. Of, it's, it's it's a lot of assumptions. It's a lot, and we just we just normal people. That's it. Normal people. Yeah. 
So do you feel like you have to date someone in the BDS like BDSM lifestyle from here on out in dating? If if you want to, if if you want to, yes. If you like to have someone that know the BDS the BDSM lifestyle, the kink lifestyle, yes. That it would be nice, but also like I said, it, it's it doesn't hurt to date someone that doesn't know anything, mm-hmm. and and you can just teach the person if it's, they're open to it. They, if they're open to it, that's it. Excuse me. Do you think that you could date someone who was not open to it at this point? At this point, yes. Okay, so it's not a hard put, hard sell. It's not. Here. It's not. It's not hard. Um, a, a lot of people make it hard. That's in a lifestyle. And they make it hard because they they don't want to be judged at. Mm. So they okay. rather uh they a lot of them rather be single. Really? Mm-hmm. They they rather be single than to be with a person. Yeah. Listen, if you like that kinky stuff, there is somebody for you. Exactly. There is somebody for you. Um, now I see a question here, and fine, fine, lemon line. I hear you. Okay. Uh, it is very much so a secret world. But the question I see here is, do you have to be a sadist to enjoy BDSM? No. No. Mm-mm. Like, because there's levels, right? There's levels to it. How do you all establish consent and, like, safe words and things like that? It's called negotiation. You have to talk about it. You have to talk to the person. We have to talk to, we have to, talk to each other. We have to talk about things where... Things that you not come feel comfortable. We have to talk about things that you in the past, or if you've been abused, because mm. it's a lot. It's a lot to expect than unexpected. You know, I've heard um, from people. I've met other people mm-hmm. um, in the lifestyle, not necessarily BDSM, but they might be a swinger or different things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've heard that a lot of times that. The, the lifestyle that's so secretive, they're actually even bigger on consent than, than people who are not in the lifestyle because they don't want no problems. Exactly. They want it, consent it for actually, everything. You have actually people, folks, have written contracts. Mm. Like, in, like in Fifty Shades of Grey. I was going to say Grey's Anatomy. Like in Fifty Shades of Grey where he <laughs> sent over a contract to yeah. her to review. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that's like a real thing. It's it's a real thing. Yes, it is. It's a real thing. Yes, it is. Okay. We're going to take... I, I have um, some questions here that people submitted to me earlier, but I want you to show the people the toys. You done brought some friends with yes, you, I, yes, so I, I want did. you to introduce your friends, and then we're going to get back into the questions. Well, since, uh, my, uh, since my play is... Um, I like impact play. What's the impact? Play? Impact play where... I like to spank. Okay. So, this lovely guy, you know, you see, it's a very smooth. Not not as smooth. (laughs) It's it's, it's very smooth wood paddle, but it has a hose in it. Um, This is my love. This is the stinger. The stinger. You named it that? Yes. I I, I named it the stinger. Because once it hit you gonna feel it <laughs> was it hit <laughs> you gonna feel it so that's that's number one that's your favorite my favorite is gonna be the last one. Oh, okay all <laughs> right let me this is, number two well uh this is really like you know a little pleasure you know tap tap on the butt tap on the thigh you know you know just have fun, you know. It's it's not gonna hurt. It's it's just it's it doesn't hurt. hurt. No, it's just you know, it's just a little, little <laughs> <laughs> a little spank here and there. So this is this this is the little guy. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the little guy. It's the little the, okay, guy. the little guy. So the third one. It looked like the first one. Yes, it looked like the first one, but it's in leather with the holes in it. I call this, this this the slapper. The slapper. So we the stinger, the slapper. What's the yes. difference? It, the slapper is when I, you know, do my play sessions, uh-huh. I slap. Oh. Yes. 
when I slap, <laughs> it slaps. Okay. <laughs> It slaps, but the last is this going in order of like so? Which one's more painful, the slapper or the stinger? The stinger's the stinger's more painful. What the slapper? The slapper. The not slapper is just I slap you. Okay. I just you been a bad girl. Okay. You been bad. You been bad. Tap 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 you know? tap. So, but the last thing, it looks smooth. Uh, it's shiny. It's smooth, shiny. It's a marble volcanic. Material glass. Oh. Paddle. That's high quality, huh? Yes, very high quality. I have to keep this clean. Okay. This is Thunder of God. I, the the you, low case. Not the big case, no. This is the low case. Thunder so, of God. The, this is Thunder of God. Okay. The reason why it's Thunder of God, because the, how thick it is. That, it looks like it's, that looks it like It seems hurt. light. But it when when it, when it touches you, you gonna feel God. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 So <laughs> you gonna feel Him. Uh, okay. <laughs> so this is my personal favorite. That's your personal favorite. This is my personal favorite. Is that the most painful one? Yes. That's why it's your personal favorite. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so I like to, you know, since you know, I'm 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 just a a little sadist. I'm not a big sadist. I'm just a little, you know. So I'm a Are you sadist. also a masochist? Yes. Are you more sadist or masochist? More sadist. Okay. Okay. So, this this is the thunder of God. So, once it touches you, <laughs> oh Lord, <laughs> <laughs> once it touches you. You gonna feel him. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so those are my toys. Those are your toys. I have a lot more, but I haven't gotten the experience of doing those yet. So, but <laughs> you, you know, later on, but once I get more experience about it, I'll show you. Okay. Do you have a dungeon? Me? No, I don't, I do not have a dungeon. You I would like? Yes, I would like to have a dungeon. I would like to, because it allows me to choose anything I want to pleasure myself and pleasure to anybody who like to consent to yeah to, to be with consent you consent to my to my well being. Okay, all right. I'm gonna get back into these questions mm-hmm. really quickly. If you all have any comments about any of his toys. What we had the 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 striker, the str- the stinger, the little guy, the slapper, slapper, thunder of God, and thunder of God, thunder of God is like that one is smooth. That that it's one is smooth. shiny and stuff. It's smooth, but what when, when, when he lay hands on you, <laughs> when he lay hands on you, oh. you go you go feel it. <laughs> okay, um, so. One question that was asked to me earlier was, mm-hmm. if someone is interested in, in this lifestyle, how do they know that the lifestyle is for them? You, you, you will know it. You, you will have to, like... First thing I was, I, I, was, I would tell people, I would tell who are interested, I should say. First, read about it. You're going to read the people did different views of BDSM. They're going to tell you of what you should do. Okay. Okay? And also, uh, they're going to tell you the basic instructions. Not really instructions, but they're going to tell you how to negotiate terms and negotiate of what pleases you. Okay. And what pleases me. And that's how you will know that it fits you. Okay. Uh, someone said that you're going to name your, your dungeon heaven and introduce them to Thunder of God. <laughs> Johnny Johnny says, I agree. Yes, I agree. <laughs> okay. So then my next question mm-hmm. um, comes down to um, what are some of the top kinks 
you feel are out there like outside of just bdsm what have you you're more involved in the lifestyle now mm-hmm. right what are some top kinks you feel that women have versus men or anything more particular to men versus women well um in my in my opinion uh is the impact i would say that's number one what's the impact impact is spanking okay so number that's- one is spanking so, uh, number two, um, uh, I would say fire play. F- really? Mm-hmm. Like, what do you mean? Like, do you talk about getting the little cute candles and letting them things burn down the turn to yeah, like massage the, wax? Yes. Okay, yes. massage wax. Yes, and number three, I would say wax play. Wait, wax play? Mm-hmm. Where you know you get a a a, a kink a kink candle, you burn it. And but I thought that was number two. No, fire play is different from wax play. Well, what is fire play? You actually playing with fire. Yes, and you slid across the person's skin, and the person receives that pain from the fire. Ooh. Yes, that that like I said, it gets deep. Fire people Play. like to get fired, but that can be so dangerous. That's a lot of trust. Yes, it is. I'm trusting you not to like burn me. Yes, and the person who's doing that, they have to know what they have to definitely 100 percent know what are they. They gotta know what they're doing. They have to. They gotta know what they're doing. You you gotta have experience of. You gotta have experience. If not, don't do it. So, okay, let's say I'm coming into the lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And how do I know how to pick... Uh, you said everyone starts off as a submissive. How do I know how to pick the right dominant? Like, do, do they have a, a, a Facebook page or something? No, a, uh, like a there's... Carfax? Um, you, could, you could make a page on FetLife. Um, say F-E-T, it again. F-E-T. L I F E dot com. Okay. Um, you can Fet make life. a page Fet Life. You can make a page and um of of yourself and you just branch out. You have to branch out to others and um others will come together. Uh it's called a munch. You heard the word brunch before? Mm-hmm. This is munch. Munch is a uh munch is f- a people of kink that come together. And they're just, you know, hanging around, relaxing, and they're getting to know each other, and, and so on. That's how you meet other people. Because you all know that all of y'all want the same, potential, are around exactly. the same thing. Exactly. Right? Um, Unchained Souls, Wax Plays, Low Key to Move. Unchained Souls, let me find out. <laughs> <laughs> let me find out. Okay, and then um, lastly, before we start, I have a little game I want to play before we start rapping. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what is um, one of the biggest misconceptions about the lifestyle? Uh, Expect the unexpected. What does that mean? It means that anything can happen. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. That's why... That's where you talk to people. You gotta negotiate. You gotta talk, hang out, get to know each other. How how long do you think you should get to know someone before you start like spanking Ooh. each other? <laughs> mm, that's a good question. Uh, oof. I would say three months, three four months top, tops. Okay, yeah. so. Be just friends for three or four months, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But somewhere in there, y'all can start to kind of talk about, you know, y'all likes, y'all dislikes. Realize both of y'all in the fetish community. and uh, But get to know each other so y'all can trust each other. Yes, you have to trust each other. Yes. Someone just said, which spanking tool is best to start out with? Okay. With your hand. Your hand? Yes. Why do you suggest that before a toy? Because... It's a start. It's a practice. Okay. You know, start using your hand first. Once you get to the rotation of using your hand, then you can pick up a toy. Okay. So start off with your hand first. Don't just be out here grabbing toys. Yeah, please don't. Immediately. 
<laughs> okay, you want to start off. You want to start off with your hand. Yeah, start um, with your hand first. And you go to fatlife dot com. Mm-hmm. Find your person. Potentially go to what you can. It's not a brunch. A munch. A munch. Yes. A munch. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get possibly just start to mingle if you're interested in this lifestyle. Going deeper into it, but make sure you do your research and do your reading first because yes. that is super important. Research and reading first. That's very important. Right. Okay. Right. So I want to play a game with you. Okay. All right. Um, and in, in this game, you're going to make up a story, but I'm going to give you like a word. So I'm going to give you a word. You're going to tell me what the first associated word you think of, and then we're going to use those words to make a, a quick story. Okay. Okay. I'll right. consent to that. Oh, thank you. Okay. Because <laughs> consent is necessary. <laughs> yes, it is. Consent okay. is necessary. Consent is necessary. So let's say the first word is uh, spanking. Pain. Okay. So you have pain. Mm-hmm. All right. And I'm actually going to keep track of these on my iPad, y'all, to make sure. Pain. Okay. Um, uh, sadist. Sadist, I would say, first thing coming to mind, uh, being aroused. Okay. Aroused. Mm-hmm. All right. And let's say the word is um, fire. A warning. Warning. Okay, one more. And let's say that word is um, dominant. Control. All right. So you are going to make up a story using pain. Mm-hmm. Aroused, mm-hmm. warning, control. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me see a story. It's and it's not a long story. It's like okay, uh, it's not gonna start off like once upon a time and all that's that. That's fine. Mm. So there's this young lady. She, there's this young lady. She is interested in giving pain okay. to others. So she searches out for others to for her. She searches out for others. Okay. She so meet this young fellow. Meets this man. Okay. And they talk. They talk. They talking, they're hanging out. They get to know each other. She noticed that he likes to receive the pain. So it makes her arouse. So with that, with that, so she allows him to receive the pain, and she gets aroused from giving pain. Mm-hmm. She tells him, "Hey, I would like to do fire." Ooh. Okay, she like to do. She tells him, "I would like to do fire." Fire, and she and he said, "Okay, I, okay, I consent to that." So, she tells him, "Fire is a warning to his soul." Okay, so she has the control of using fire in his ability, and he allows for her to be in control. Mm. Mm-hmm. So. That's a little story right there between <laughs> the dominant and the submissive. All right. Oh, so, yes. Yay. Thank you. First you of all, I want to thank you for coming on the show. You're about to actually get into spitting the bars. Okay. But I want to thank you for coming on the show already. I want to shout out the sponsors again while I still have some people on. Okay. Make sure you guys check out The Urban if you're in South Florida for all of your best needs when it comes to living a great lifestyle, having a great time, enjoying a great vibe. There are several events. Vibe After Five is going to be here on Friday. Okay. And it's always a good time. Now, I also want to shout out Big Boy Food Club one more time for sponsoring the Moet. <laughs> the Moet, okay, drinking that mm-hmm. rosé. Yes. Maybe you want to call Rickety Ross real quick. All right. And then are you ready for your freestyle? Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. 
Now we doing a classic today, y'all. Now the, the the cool thing about doing this song too is a college classic for both yes, of us. Yes, okay. It is. And we're still sticking to the topic. So it could be anything dealing with BDSM, sex, kink, lifestyle, any of that. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yeah, we sitting on the couch at the urban. And you know we over here talking dirty. We talking about the lifestyle. Really drops my boy wild. He like that BDSM. Yeah, he in the crowd and he surfing. He spanking. He living real good. Yeah, he talking. He talking. Educating the hood. All on BDSM. Yeah, bondage and massacres. All in the good and they like to go to. Yes, I love BSM. The kinky life. Tell me. Let me. Uh. uh. <laughs> Uh, let's go. Yes, I gave you the lesson. Now, ah, oh, got it. Hey, it's all right. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. It's all right. It's okay. I gave the lesson. Now you listen, learn. Yes, the door. Do the path. Look, I'm so bad, girl. I'm it's so okay. Bad. It's uh, so bad. Hold on, wait. Let me, can I hold one? Yeah, I'm go sorry. ahead. Uh, go ahead and hold yeah. one. Yes. Yeah, we sitting with the, with the whips and the chains and the paddles and the things. And we like to bring the pain and we always do our thing. Yeah, it's rap and mimosas and you know we sipping toasters and we... Got it going, yeah, I whip them on the booty. Got to whip them, whip them, got to whip them in the tootie. Uh, hey, and I'm making up hey, words. Hey. I'm a dominant, baby, I don't ever subserve. Hey, ah. hey, and he hey. like that shit. He like it when I talk it like it. And he get that lick when he get out of line. You know I'm always on time. You know I bring that whip and he better bring the dick. <laughs> yeah, hey. <laughs> Mimosas, rap and mimosas. Yeah, we back season three. Yeah, we starting off. Oh, and we need to be on TV. Coming soon. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Thank yes. you so much for doing that. I'm You're not a welcome. rapper either. Okay. You did a good job, girl. You Thank did a good you. Job. you. Did a good job. You did a good job. I'm not a rapper. You're not a rapper. But sometimes we gotta rap. Okay, sometimes we have to rap, yes, sip yes, this yes, champagne, yes. have a good time. I'm so thankful for you all if you've been watching throughout the whole episode, dropped any questions. Hopefully I got to it. This is the beginning of season three. We will actually be back again next week with another special guest. And this time we're shaking things up again because we're going to talk about relationships Mm. in non-monogamy because you know there's so many different styles of relationships now Ooh. now yes it is there's non-monogamous style relationships what does that mean what does it mean to be in a non-monogamous relationship and i hope i'm getting the title right but if not the young lady i'm interviewing next week is actually going to educate us on the boundaries and standards if you feel mm. like i don't do a normal relationship Right, I don't want to do a regular <laughs> relationship or what mm -hmm. society considers regular. We're going to talk about what a non monogamous relationship looks like next week. So be prepared to drop any questions you might have. I'm going to keep sipping these mimosas with my good friend Johnny. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Anything else you want to say to the people before you thank go? Thank you. I want to say thank you so much. And I was, I, I'm going to be honest, I was a little nervous. <laughs> I was a little nervous, but she. She got me good, y'all. She got me good. She got me good. I have to give it to her. Uh, she's doing the very big things on Instagram, and um, I love her for that. And um, I'm so proud of her. Oh, Johnny, thank you. <laughs> I'm thank so proud you. Of, I'm so proud of her, and she's doing very big things. And um, when it comes to non-monogamous, it's always that BDSM comes to play. You think BDSM comes to play in that it too? Not, it's that lot with. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, Johnny. Now you make now, see, now, you, uh-huh. now you gotta come on the show yeah. next week too. No. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Thank you exactly. all. Thank you all for tuning in. Shout out again to the urban. If you're in South Florida and you have not been to the urban, what are you ooh, excuse me? What are you doing? Okay? What are you doing? What if are you, you doing? Ha- if you live in South Florida and you haven't been to the urban, what are you, you doing? doing? Okay, it's Rafa Mimosas. We're back. With that being said, let me go ahead and do my outro because you know I got to do it. She got to do it, y'all. Mimosa, these bars in the holster. Pouring up a drink, put my name on the poster. Women who can rap make you come a little closer. Step out the whip, drop a tip to my chauffeur. New guest on my list. Champagne's by my hips. It's time to get lit. Y'all know what it is. It's time to rap, 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 rap and, mimosas. and mimosas. Woo! See you next week. Thank See y'all. Bye-bye.